Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I'm sorry that I've been away for so long. I've been gone for like nearly two weeks. Very personal situation to me on what's been going on. Um, and I've not chosen to share it with... <laughs> I've not chosen to share it with a few work colleagues and family members, let alone people here on YouTube, until... It was until like it was written in stone, which to be honest, it's not. I've still got things going on, which is why, I, which is why I'm not filming videos as much. But I have decided that I might do a video on this because it is something that's not talked about enough. I don't think, um, or something that maybe people do experience more than others, but they just don't mention it. Um, I'm like I say, I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video today because I am going to do it you know, a little bit of a skincare review kind of thing. Um, but I just want to apologise now that I've been away. It's not something that can be helped at the end of the day. You have to put your health first before work, YouTube, anything like that. So anyway, um, let's get into today's video, which is going to be a new skin, um, skincare review kind of thing. I have only got one product which I'm going to do today. And today's product that I'm going to be talking about is the new skin. It's the Marine Mud Mask. Now, I have been contacted by a, by this brand and for the past three years they've been wanting me to promote for them basically and try out some of the skincare products. So Wendy, who was one of the ladies that has been in touch, has kindly sent over some products for me to try. So I am going to be doing that this week while I've booked it off as a holiday just to get some kind of relaxation time in. And I thought, what be better opportunity and time to review skincare products? So... Just want to put a little side note, like a bit of a disclaimer on there. I am not going to, I mean, I'm not going to bash the company, but if I don't like a product, or if I'm not necessarily keen on a product, I'm not going to be talking about it. Um, that's no offence to the company. Um, you know, it's not, it's no hard feelings or anything like that. I won't not be, I won't like, not like them because if I don't like one certain product, just because I don't like a certain product, and I have said this about the Queso skincare range, just because I don't like a product doesn't mean that you might not like the product. So this is the one that I want to be talking about. It's a marine mud mask. This thing absolutely smells divine. Um, You'll see me obviously test this out in the try and, well, not the try and clip, but it's going to be like a bit of a demo clip Um, next. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed this. Want to see my honest thoughts and opinions about the Marine Mud Mask? Then please continue watching. Okay, so <clears throat> as I explained, it comes, well, because I got a sample of the mask, it came in this little pot. Um, it's got the NU Skin logo there, I'm assuming, and then on the back, Wendy has kindly uh, labelled it, and it's called the Marine Mud, just so you can see. And then I'm just going to open it really carefully, because obviously I don't want it to go anywhere, and the consistency, from what I can see, is quite runny. So, this is what it looks like. I don't want to tip too much, but it's like a greeny grey colour, um, I guess to symbolize mud i need to start looking here more often so yeah um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the well it's not the it's just a face um mask brush that i got when i was in beauty college gonna dip that into my product carefully just apply this to the face it feels uh, um quite refreshing to apply and then i'm just gonna Basically, basically apply this mask to where you would. Feels really nice, I'm not even gonna lie. Don't mind that piece of hair. I know it's doing my head in as well. So you just wanna basically spread it all along the face. A bit more here, because I have a breakout going on. And then a little bit, I'm just gonna apply it a little bit down the neck. I don't want to waste too much of this product because I do want to give it a second go um, at some point. So I'm just going to leave that like that and then I'm just going to tidy up and also take it on the nose. It smells, from what I can say honestly so far, it smells amazing. Like just clean and fresh, something like what, it's something like you'd smell at a spa, you know, when you go for a facial, it 
honestly, it smells like something that they'd use. I'm just going to apply a little bit here as well because I tend to get a bit of a break out there. So if we just neaten that up a little bit. And obviously you don't have to use this face brush that I'm using. You can use... I'm sorry if you can hear my child in the background. He's a pain in the ass recently. Okay, so as you can see, I've still got some in the pot. So this is probably going to get another two or three faces out of there, I'd say. So that's really good. It means that the products last, will last. Um, I can already see that it's when it sets, it's going to like more of a pale green. Um, so I'm guessing this is all going to dry and that's when you know to wash it off. So I'm going to leave this roughly for around 10 minutes. Let's just sort that out. I'm just going to roughly leave this for around 10 minutes and then see what happens. I'm just going to pop this in the sink now. Okay, so it's only been like literally two minutes since I applied it and you can see that it's changing into this colour once it's setting. Um, just shut that door. So the feedback I want to give so far is that it feels very tight once it's drying, uh, which to me, I quite like that knowing that it's doing something for my skin. It's drawing out any impurities, any um, sebum, any blackheads, maybe any spots. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Obviously, I don't know until I've washed this off what it's going to look like. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it for around another five, seven minutes or so. Leave it on obviously as long as you want. I'd recommend for a face mask anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. I'm going to leave it and maybe see if any of this turns to the rest of the light green colour. By the way, it feels like I've had Botox or something. Honestly, my face is so stiff. Okay, everyone. It is very hard to smile right now. I'm not even going to lie. I know I look a bit cray-cray. I look a bit crazy right now, but that's what you got to do. Pain sometimes... Uh, pain sometimes. Beauty sometimes is pretty damn ugly to start with. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Joke's on me. Um, it's completely dried. It feels very... As I was explaining earlier, once I'd first applied it, it feels very tight to the skin. Um, but that, to me, I guess is a sign, like a little flag telling you that it's time to wash it off. So, we're going to head over to the bathroom. Yes, so we're here. I'm sorry that you can see me in the background. <laughs> Sorry that you can see me in the background. Um, obviously the mirror's there, so you are gonna be able to see the flannel. I'm just gonna run it, run it under warm water. This is a close up. Make sure it's really nice and wet, and then squeeze it out. And then I'm just gonna go over my face first and see if anything will come off. So as you can see, it melts away effortlessly. It's not hard to remove, which is amazing. I cannot stand when you put a clay um, or a mud mask on and it takes the, the piss to get off, so. But as you can see, it has nicely come off. I'm just gonna go over with a flannel. Just going back in and wetting the flannel and then squeezing it out. I've not needed to go in and rinse off again, which is really good. Usually I do have to do that when I've used a mask. I always go bright red after washing my face. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I really like it. I love the. I love how it's just left my skin feeling. It feels really clean, which is a main thing for me as well. Sometimes when you cleanse your face, it's just not enough. You need that extra exfoliation. You need that extra mask. So... Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope maybe I've given you an idea as to what the um, as to what the actual marine mud mask is like. I really enjoyed this. I don't know how much it retails for. Um, so it's worth having a look into just to see or maybe you might be able to buy sample of pots like this. I'm not entirely sure again. If you have got any products, in, if you have got any products, if you have got any questions in regards to the products, please feel free to ask in the comments description and I'll be sure to answer. Until then, um, like I say, Wendy very kindly sent me over some samples which I'm going to be trying all week. I'm giving my honest thoughts on them. I'm not going to bullshit you. If I don't like them, then I won't be talking about them. I think in total she sent me four items. So I got the Marine Mud Mask. Um, the Instaglow, 
which is like a product that tans you. And then I got a toothpaste and also a sheet mask as well. So yeah, do do them and it happens, you know, I am gonna film it. And if I do end up not liking them, I'm just not gonna um, mention them. So yeah, that's that. That's the end of the video guys. Until then, I'll see you in my next one. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I say, feel free to leave any comments um, in the description bar and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.